Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome, my friends, to today's episode of Top Deck, where we are covering a top 1,000 Dimir Yorian control deck. So I'm very excited about this for a couple things. Meta has been very, very heavily focused on aggro, mid range. Now we're going to start seeing some of these more controlly type late game decks coming up. And I think this is a great one here for you today. So, this particular deck is by Crux Delta. So, congratulations, Crux, on hitting the top 1,000 with this deck. We're going to talk about it here in a second. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Feel free to navigate down below to the timestamps where we will cover the strategy objective of the main board here. We'll talk about the sideboard for your best of three and how to board, and then we'll go play some competitive magic for you in both best of one and best of three here today with the season reset. So I'm very looking forward to playing uh, and moving on up with you. And last but not least, we'll talk about where this may sit in the meta, my friends. So very excited about that. If you happen to have questions, if you have comments, let me know down below. While you're in the details, the Discord information is there. Absolutely feel free to check that out. We're 100 plus strong in there. So thank you, everyone, uh, as always, for the community and the help for everyone else, um, including myself. Um, with that said, Planeswalkers, um, other great ways to support the channel down below. Much appreciated, as always, and feel free to flip me a like. So with that, let's go ahead. We're going to drill into the Dimmer Control deck because I am super pumped about this. Now, the biggest thing that you need to know, there's literally two win conditions on the main board here. One, we got Yorian, a big 4-5 body. Two, we got Professor Onyx. So with onyx the key one here is minus eight but we have to be very very careful there because we're going to lose one life every time that we go look at the top three cards so i have seen that as a problem before in the past the good news is we have maze mind tomb to give us life back but we just got to be careful of that so keep that in mind as you're playing it's going to be pretty important now, what this deck really, really excels at, well, I guess we get life back with Claim to Dust too. Um, what, what this deck really excels at is in the two drop slot in terms of control, either taking things off the board or counter spell magic, which is going to be very important. We also have a Midnight Clock. I love this as a one off to essentially reset everything that we have, um, as long as they're not wiping stuff out of our board. Shadows Verdict, Extinction Event, um, a really, really nice one here in terms of an instant for baleful mastery here from strixhaven we may pay two rather than pay the spells mana cost if two is paid an opponent draws a card otherwise you can exile a target creature or planeswalker very very powerful here um, so all great things to consider we see a lot of the best things um, in terms of control here so really really looking forward to playing this deck um, really locking things down and then digging for what we need um, for our win conditions and moving forward so you certainly have to be patient with this deck you're going to have to be reserved in terms of how you play and in particular i wouldn't drop yorin and i wouldn't drop onyx um, actually until you probably have over on the mana so you can make sure that you're keeping it on the board and your opponents are not removing it so that's gonna be the big one there um, additionally we do have crawling barons which i didn't mention before as a win condition so this is a really really pivotal card as well um, for this particular deck so we can keep that in mind so all right that is the main board the strategy objective of this deck locking things down going to the late game and controlling just like general magic so very excited about that now we have a lot going on here on the sideboard in terms of what we're going to need to do and we're going to talk through that in terms of aggro mid-range and late game which is going to be very important for us here aggro decks mono red boros um, <clears throat> knights in in particular haven't seen a ton of but always a good one to call out additionally our boros winata decks um, and also mono white aggro as well so lots of things there in that space so we got to keep an eye on um, those decks what we're going to really look towards here are things like brazen borrowers slow them down elspeth's nightmare um, extinction event isn't bad and shark typhoon and what you're going to look to flip out are things like um, negate um, also test the talents and uh, potentially saw it coming as well or some late game stuff like ash Oxy Erasure, you're pulling that deck list from the high end of the curve back forward 
and being more creature focused. Now, again, as we talk about those uh, aggro to mid range, these are gonna be things like the Boris Renato one, which we said, additionally, Gruel Aggro, um, Gruel Adventures. We also begin to look at Naya Adventures. I'm seeing that creep up in the meta. If you guys checked out Friday Night Meta, um, that was a big one. We saw great, great um, acceleration there over the weekend on that particular deck out of the SCG 5K. Um, and then additionally in that space, we have Rakdos Sacrifice decks. We have Jun Sacrifice decks, um, all big ones to pay attention to. We got the Golgari Witherbloom uh, Pest decks. And then additionally, last but not least, kind of some of those traditional Rakdos mid-range decks. Um, so all things to pay attention to. Creature-based decks, we'll do what we talked about in terms of aggro. Other than that, we're going to focus on duress. We might focus on mystical disputes. Um, additionally, Elspeth's Nightmare to help you clean out a graveyard, which is going to be very, very important for you. Um, and then from there, we'll move into the late game, so mirror match here. Um, additionally, uh, ultimatum decks, so Teamer, Sultai, Ultimatum, um, big ones pay attention to. We know those very, very well. Um, also in that space, four-color um, Doom decks, Esper Doom, Doom, any of the Doom decks, and other late game uh, kind of control decks. So very important there in that space against those late game, we'll go with the Duress, we'll go with the Mystical Disputes. Um, if they're running again, um, cards that manage their graveyard, Elspeth's Nightmare is going to be your big one. I also don't mind Shark Typhoon um, against some of the other late game decks, particularly to slam a big big flying shark to help you close out a match, um, those kinds of things. So I'm big on some of those win conditions. We got plenty of them here, actually. Um, just a little bit slower and need to be patient on that. So looking forward to this here today, Planeswalkers, and playing this deck for you. We're going to go play that competitive best of one and best of three for you. And like I said, if you have questions, if you have comments, please, please let me know. Happy to help. Hop in the Discord server. And if you like today's deck and video, don't forget to flip me a like. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to hop into it right away. I love that artwork. I think that's pretty sweet. Um, we'll pause there for a minute and uh, go ahead and play our standard ranked. So yesterday we did this top 50 mono white life gain deck. Absolutely check it out. Awesome. Uh, the chemist deck. We've done a ton of things. Lots of cool combo decks now too. Um, and other things here as we're moving forward with Strixhaven. But like I said, very excited for this particular deck because we have felt and I've mentioned um, lots of things in the space where I feel like when you have that aggro heaviness going on in the meta, you're going to begin to open up uh, for a lot more uh, control decks like this one. So we are playing Nether Noob. I like it. We got a direct, oh, we don't have a direct kill. We have the ability to go dig. Um, we have a cycle, but I like that at the beginning. We got Ashiax Erasure. Um, probably going to be an aggro, and we don't have that direct kill. I do have that ability to go look, so I will keep this for now. This will also help me shut down a lot of aggro cards if we get to four. Kling can give me that life back, which is going to be very important here. Um, and we'll play from there. All right. That was a mouthful, my friends. Nether noob, are you here, my friend? I guess we'll find out pretty soon. <clears throat> I did pick up these nice little wolf sleeves here on the uh, lovely stocks last week. You guys can uh, get those shout outs there in the uh, in the Discord server. Lots of people looking out for you on that. All right, Nether Noob, is it me or is it you? That is the question today. While we're here, though, let's go ahead and take a look at these. I think these things are pretty sweet. Very, very nice. All right. Oh, look at that. You can even look at your sideboard. I actually didn't know that. I might have learned something here. But that's not my full sideboard. So, interesting, interesting. All right, library. Back to that. Okay. Uh-oh. Today's video is a bust. No, I'm just kidding, guys. You know that I love doing this stuff for you. We play it real time. We play it as it is. Well, really real time in terms of the fact that I play it live. Um, and then I do not, I repeat, um, I do not uh, go back and, and spot pick or cherry pick. Oh, look at that. They're live. Um, <clears throat> the match is for you. So you guys see it as it is. We call it as it is. Uh oh, it's a mono green stompy deck. 
I don't know, we'll find out. <clears throat> um, we can do this, and we can counter next turn. I don't know, I think this is a better play though, actually. We don't know what they're playing, and we don't want that. So that works out. Because we can actually hard cast this next turn. Another one. Three of them. Uh-oh. So the question is, I feel like we actually just pay the two and we'll give them a draw on this. Except the reality is... We'll hit our own card. There we go. Um, except the reality is they still got the draw off that, so we could have been a little fast um, off the gate there. But that's okay. This would have been really nice. Um, let's go with the blue. We're going to have to get to a uh, Shadow's Verdict. If we don't get there, we're going to be in a world of hurt. There we go. Look at this. Boom. That's gone. Well, we'll see what they play first. I'm going to counter it first. Uh, we can do that. Get that guy off. For now. We need to get him off. We'll see. It's going to be close. I don't know. No, we didn't get it, my friends. We didn't get it. All right, we'll go to the next game. So the one thing that we have to be careful about against those aggro decks, obviously, like we said, that we would board in is a little bit more of some of those direct kill spells um, like Elspeth. So very, very important. Let's go into the next one and see how we do. We were on the play. Or sorry. Um, yeah, we were on the play, not the draw, but just did not have the direct kill that we needed. We had a couple, but we still gave them the draw and it kind of got expensive. So. Something to think about there. Pooja. Pooju. All right. Shadow's Verdict. Absolutely. We need this. We'll keep it. So we're sitting in a better spot. Uh, per se. Uh oh. Mono red. So we can main board, play, um, do like that card. Ooh. we go so 
so now we can get to five. It's gonna be a quick one here. Um, Annex will do it. So that's actually five right now. So we need to do a couple things. We'll do the eliminate on the annex. So we have to. If they flip that guy. Not enough. So that's the big one still. It will be enough the next turn because we'll wipe the board. Actually, it is enough. Oh, no, not enough. So the problem here is they can play faceless next turn and there's nothing we can do about it. They'll have enough damage through which will clip us. We'll still wipe them either way. Unfortunately, nothing we could do. So not working so well for us today in best of one. Ugh. Need a little bit more kill spell in this. Um, but we'll try again. All right, let's see how it goes. Annealed 007. All right, finally kill spell. Maze mine. Extinction, we're first again. See, Shuffler being our friend right now. Kind of, kind of, we're still losing. All right, so we'll do this. Hopefully we'll get, won't have to worry on turn one. We'll drop the maze mine, there we go. All right, Rockdo stack. So this be a little bit different here. So we need to make sure we keep gaining lands, which is exactly what we want here. Look, okay with that. Ooh, that one hurt. Go pull a land. There we go. I'm gonna pull this guy now. We got a lot of stuff there. Let's grab that. There we go. So we just need to pay attention to our, uh, that's fine. We need to pay attention to our life. We're okay right now.
So I'm pulling all these things to really, really lock in my control. We're going to load everything up here. Ooh. Uh-oh. How much two is it? I think, right? Oh, I really wanted castle, but that's okay. We could have pulled one here too. Yeah, we should have done that. That's all right. goes Yorian. Should have played the Yorian. Got a little fast on that one. I was actually thinking Ox was too, so it's fine. Gonna be a kill spell, I would think. Yep. So we're running low on options here. Best of talents is gone. Oh, three. 
Now we gotta quit using Kling, because we can bring all this stuff back. Pull that up. We get a kill spell. Nope. We can certainly play those if we need the life. We'll have to. There we go. Need a kill spell, there we go. Too bad. Too bad. We were one away. One off there. There we go. We got infinite. I'll give him ox back. Counter. There we go. There we go. Saving for later. We should absolutely be able to come back from this. Let's get this guy out of there. Two, three. Well, we need to keep a wind condition. That's gone. There we go. Then what's going to be in our board? We'll just counter that. There we go. Boom! Yeah, we, we totally had that. So, much better there for that match. Much better. Very, very happy with that result and the way that we were able to play around. Made some small mistakes, but we were able to recover there with the Shadow's Verdict and all that stuff. So... Whew, very nice, 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 nice. All right, so let's go to where this deck's really gonna excel. Best of three, my friends. So to recap here for best of one, we went one and two. 
Um, we did lose to some aggro decks. It happens. Um, so not super upset about that because we're going to get sped out. And this is a more balanced deck for best of three. Um, so let's see how this holds up here. And again, Planeswalkers, flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video. Other great ways to support the channel down below and to stay in touch um, with us as well. Kame. And if you got questions or comments, let me know. Wow, play first every time today. It's amazing. Um, we're going to mulligan. We can keep this. The question is, do we drop Test of Talents? I think we go with... We got to keep the kill spells. So I think we drop uh, Test of Talents, actually. For now. Because that opens me up for a counter and it eliminates, and we'll keep that one. Yeah, mono red. That's what we needed. Makes sense. Let's go with the second black. Do this. Site opens this up for four. All right. So we have an aggro deck. So we're really going to have to think about how we're going to play here. Go we'll grab a, another blue. Put this on. We'll take it off again. look don't need that pull that one over so now we got three decision points draw kill counter I will take the six. All very, very helpful. We will grab our swamp. So I could pull this. So again, same thing. I'm going to take that guy off right now. Let's look. Get rid of the counter spell. I will redo this. So again, back to three choices here. We're going to take that thing off the board. We 
we have to block here. It's a lot, so I'm okay with that. We're gonna look. We can do this. We will do this. Open your books to page seventeen or something. We'll get that thing off the board. Oh, I so want to play that. Um, let's look. Oh. For the drain. We'll see what they do here. Should be enough for castle. Not enough. Ugh. Right on. Right on. That's too bad. Not much we could do there. So, we're going to flip these guys in. We're going to flip these guys in. We're going to flip these in and that. Um, we will get rid of the negates. Test the talents we don't need. We're going to go hardcore on the kill spells. Ashiox Erasure we don't need, and we'll stick with this. All right. This should be much better. We just got to keep taking off the creatures um, against Norokami here, uh, and we should be in a much better position. So we'll play first. This is much better. We'll keep it despite this, which I don't like, but that's all right. Hopefully we hit a land, there we go. We'll cycle here. Look at our stack. Um, we'll do that. Roiling Vortex is going to be the bane for us here. Absolutely. If we get a land here, there we go. We're gonna flip in Yorian. Oh shoot, that's too bad.
I'll keep both those. Ooh. Oh, my own guy, I guess. Grab that one. We'll do this. Hopefully we can recover. Roiling Vortex that will hurt us pretty badly. Oh, just off by one. We're off by one play here, you guys. It's really too bad. That's going to be game. One shot. Nope, no, that's game. Oh, too bad. So fast for a control deck. Everyone's playing mono red. Certainly a swarm, as we said in uh, Discord today. So unfortunate nonetheless, but it happens. So where do we think this sits in the meta well a few different things there i definitely think um control oh, we'll go check out the deck there's there's certainly a space for control in the late game is this the deck i don't know um do i think there's some things that could be done differently absolutely um, we were missing a lot of the short-term kill spells um, moving those in would have certainly helped this deck only having four here at the front end hurts us not enough shadows verdicts or extinction events i really like billful mastery in this deck a lot um, but certainly something else that that's going to be needed so in terms of the focus the way that i would build this deck um, is a lot more front end kill a lot more back end control um, and that's how you're going to line up better actually against uh, the aggro mid range and late game kind of stuff in my opinion and then what you would do is you'd flip out a lot of these other things and move more towards that control deck so unfortunately not enough for us here today it happens um, and that's the way it goes with magic so in terms of best of one we went one and two best of three we went zero and two against mono red we hit like three mono red decks and just all mono red um or aggro so it wasn't the best showing where's the sit in the meta um in terms of where we where we hit today i would honestly say maybe bottom of tier two for both um potentially tier three unfortunately so um do i think this could be stronger like i've said before absolutely is there potential absolutely um but we'll continue to keep an eye on it obviously top thousand with it which is great dimmer you're in control i think um, dimmer certainly has the opportunity in the meta given where we've been and given what we've seen um, but we'll continue to keep an eye on it my friend so planeswalkers you stay safe if you got questions or comments let me know down below happy to help um, let uh, feel free to check out the discord as always um, as well and then flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video all right planeswalkers you stay safe take care we'll see you again soon lots more top decks lots more tier lists lots more weekly uh friday night meta coming your way all right mithras out